Today, we want to ask the question, where is God in hard places? Where is God when we look around and we see no evidence? Where is God where, where, when we think we're following his plan, but we look around and we say, God, have you left us here? Have you abandoned us? God, we feel alone. That's where Abraham felt. Abraham and his son had gone up to a mountain to sacrifice. And you may know this story. Ultimately, uh, Abraham nearly sacrificed his son Isaac. And for us, this whole story is uh, so radically uh, strange to how our world works today. I mean, the idea of a child sacrifice, the idea of, of appeasing God with that sort of, of thing is, is rightfully repulsive. And we look at this story and we say, what's going on here? Well, I, I think part of what we need to understand is this is actually what I would call a trope from the ancient world. You see, every one of Abraham's contemporaries knew exactly what would happen in a story like this. They needed God to provide Abraham would go sacrifice his child, and God would provide. That, is, that was the narrative. That was the arc, story of the, the arc of the story in the ancient world. We can find other stories that are much like this, in which there was a sacrifice. And so we can only imagine what Abraham is thinking, where he, he, he enters up into this mountain. He has Isaac with him. Isaac is carrying the very wood upon which he will be sacrificed, has the knife. And we think to ourselves, Abraham, what must be going through your mind? D does he expect God to intervene? Did he never think that he'd have to go through with it? What will it be? Let's look together in Genesis 22, verses 10 to 14, to get just a glimpse, just a snapshot of what Abraham's faith looked like and how this story turned out different. There was a reversal compared to every other story in the ancient world that was set up with just the same scene being painted. Genesis 22, verses 10 through 14. Then he, Abraham, reached out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Do not lay a hand on the boy, he said. Do not harm, uh, do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. Abraham looked up and there in the thicket he saw a ram caught in it by its horns. He went over and took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide. And to this day, it is said, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. Abraham calls that place, the Lord will provide. What we have in this great reversal of the story is, of course, God intervenes. Abraham's God is not like the gods of the nations, not like every other god in the ancient world that was being worshipped at the time. Abraham worshipped a God who would intervene, a God who would provide, a God who instead of saying, I want your son, you must pay with blood to get the blessing that you're looking for. Ultimately, Abraham worshipped the God who would provide. When Abraham didn't have the sacrifice, when Abraham wasn't strong enough to bring down the knife, when Abraham uh, you know, thought to himself, how is this story going to end? He looked to the God who provides. And ultimately, you and I know, nowhere is this clearer for us today than it is in Jesus. Not only did Abraham worship a God who is not like the gods of the ancients, not like their neighbor's gods, not like the tropes of the culture who would demand the blood of his son, Abraham's God would go so far in the other direction that he would give the blood of his son. So it could be said, our God provides. When I was sinful, 
when my heart was, was nothing but angry towards God, when I had no remorse, no fear of God, when I could offer nothing in return. And Jesus, God looked over me and said, I will provide what he needs. And, and Jesus, God looked over you and said, I will provide what she is lacking, what he cannot do, the, the, the things she can't bless her family with, the things that he cannot get right in life, God will provide. He's done it for you in Jesus. In your suffering, in that moment of loneliness, in that moment of wondering, God, where are you in this mess? You've brought me up onto this mountain. I have a knife and my son is tied up, right? Whatever circumstances you're going through in life, I, I imagine they pale in comparison to Abraham right here, right? All the wondering, all the questioning, all the fear, all the confusion. And yet on the other side, Abraham said, God, God's got this. He will provide. Let me tell you, I don't know how each of the circumstances of those details in your life are going to shake out. But one thing I can proclaim with confidence, God will provide. Death won't get the last word. Fear will not be your testimony. Hatred and anger will not win the day. God, our God, will provide. He's proven his word in Jesus. What does it look like to be a people who trust his word? Who trust him when he says, I will provide. Who trust him when he says, do not take vengeance, leave it to me. Do not get even with other, on, on other people when they mistreat you. Leave it to me. Hey, trust me with your children. Trust me to bring about justice. What does it look like in real life to be the kind of people who trust this testimony? God will provide. Let me encourage you this week, today even, take one step to trust God. Trust God when the outcome is unknown. When you feel alone or uncertain. I had a mentor and a friend in life who said it like this. When you're in those dark places, remember what you learned in the light. Remember what you learned in the light when you're going through that dark night. Trust that God. God has not changed even as it feels like darkness has surrounded you. When your circumstances feel like they've soured. God has not changed. His character has not moved. His heart for you has not missed a beat. Trust him. Trust his words. Follow in obedience. And I believe you will say on the other side of it, God will.